Huh, okay. Hello everyone, my name is Boom Muppet and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you 15 different simple circuits that you can build in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, these are really easy to make and they are incredibly useful uh, for a variety of different things. So yeah, let's get on with it. So over here we've got the first one and this is by far one of the most helpful circuits. If you don't like having an ugly lever like this, then you can replace it with a lovely looking button and it looks far cleaner. And this is a T flip flop, I love the name of this circuit. And what it does is just that, it converts a button uh, impulse thingy into a lever pulse thing. Uh, and yeah, it works really reliably every time. It's a very simple circuit. All we've got is a item in this bottom dropper, a dropper facing this way, a comparator with a hopper going into that dropper there, and then a redstone lamp as our output. So yeah, that is a very simple circuit to build. The next one is an observer clock. This is incredibly fast. It's can, it's very re reliable as well, and I use it quite a lot if I want a rapid fire system of some kind. This here is an observer item elevator using droppers as well. So you put items in there, and it will shoot up all the items to the top of this dropper tower. This is infinitely expandable, but the taller you make it, the less reliable it is, so look out for that. Next we have the d vertical double piston extender, this is actually designed by me, it's the smallest one on the bedrock edition, um, oops, I, that was a mistake, um, yeah, so this is this works really reliably and it works really well and it's relatively fast too. This is the horizontal design for it, it's similar but yeah, it's horizontal. Yeah, because that's why it's called the horizontal design. Um, it's designed by the Bowtie Man, who is an incredibly good Minecraft Bedrock Edition YouTuber. I will link his channel down in the description because he is amazing. Um, next up, we've got a fast vertical redstone line. So this actually uses droppers, observers, uh, blocks, and then that continues to go upwards. And it sends a redstone pulse all the way to the top of the tower incredibly quickly so yeah um, this next one is the two tick clock now this can actually be customized so it can be three ticks four ticks or five ticks just change the delay on the repeater um, a lot of people use it as this though because this works the most reliably um, and yeah it's the most reliable fast pulsing clock Next one here is very famous, it's called an Etho Hopper Clock because it's designed by the YouTuber Etho, which, who does a lot of good redstone tutorials and videos, so I'll also link his channel down in the description. Um, it changes the delay depending on how many items are in the hopper, so say I were to grab more redstone lamps, like so, I just throw in another 16 you will see that it lasts much longer between each pulse. So there you go. So it lasts much longer depending on how many items are in there. Next one is the comparator clock. This is incredibly fast. It can be used for like machine guns if you're into that kind of thing with redstone. Um, yeah, it's very, very small, but it's incredibly helpful. Next one here is the monostable circuit. You probably will have seen this before. It gives a one tick pulse when you hit the button. So it turns a 10 tick pulse from this button into a one tick pulse. This can also happen with a wooden button, which has a 15 tick pulse normally. Um, it'll just make the piston extend for longer. So you can't use it as often. So that's why I like to have a stone button there. Yeah, so um, next we have a hopper clock. Uh, this gives a relatively fast um, pulse every now and then, so it'll just send an item backwards and forwards between these two hoppers and give an output into a comparator and can be toggled on and off using a lever. 
This next one is a Trident Killer. You definitely will have seen these before if you play on the Bedrock Edition. Uh, these are incredibly popular in the technical community. They allow you to kill off mobs um, and they drop XP fully automatically. And if you think that trident's going to break, it isn't because it only takes damage when it's picked up by the player. So that's a very, very helpful game mechanic that we've managed to use here. Uh, if you want to know how you can pick up the drops from the inside, you just put hopper minecarts underneath it and that will pick up the drops through the blocks. This next one is the pulse extender. It takes a regular button output or a lever output, whatever you want, and it makes it much longer. So you'll see, there you go. See the button deactivated now and the pulse keeps going for a lot longer. This can be made into an even longer circuit by just adding more comparators facing alternating ways, which I'm rubbish at apparently. Uh, so like that, and if you just add more there, you'll see that it will last far, far longer. And yeah, oh, well this is awkward, it's taken a while. There you go, right. Um, yeah, so they are incredibly helpful. I use them a lot in many, many different circuits. They're really helpful for automatic bubble elevators. Um, so yeah, definitely use them wherever you can if you need to make air pulse longer. This next one here is the Bedrock Breaker. Uh, if you haven't seen this design before, I think I actually made it. There was a design that used the same mechanic, but it was a lot bigger than this. Um, so I've managed to compact it down to just this. So I'll show you all the redstone. This is snow layers placed like that to make a full block. Uh, you need to place them as snow layers. You can't just place a snow block, otherwise this won't work. Um, you've got a redstone torch here and that will deactivate that piston as this one pushes across. And you'll notice that this snow layer here will go up and into the bedrock and the bedrock will be removed. This can be easily reset by just breaking that and placing more like that. Now this actually works with any block in the game but we use it for bedrock because well bedrock's unbreakable. But this also means that you can remove things like end portal tiles if I just find one uh, there. So you can remove these using this and or you could remove these using this but you can't anymore okay minecraft changes that's that's fine um but that that's quite that that's actually me i'm sad now okay That has actually made me incredibly unhappy. I, th I think I should just move on. Uh, the next one is this kind of wireless redstone. The, this can be used in a lot of different situations. Um, hard to explain when, but it can be used in some item sorters I know of. And yeah, it's incredibly... It's, it's weird, actually, because this block shouldn't be powered. Look, I've got an example here. If you just do it with a regular block, then it doesn't work, but if you have a piston with a bit of obsidian on top, then it does. I don't know why, but that's just how Bedrock Edition is now. Anyway, yeah, these were 15 different simple circuits that you can make in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Thank you for watching this very quick video. Um, I'm not sad anymore, I've managed to get over the fact that, well, you can't break end portal tiles. I'm still confused about... Why, why would they remove that? That, like, Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, and have a nice day.